Hello and welcome to my video vlog of my everyday disc of life. This is falling down, but this is better. So it's going to be minimum edit on this vlog series. It's going to be everything I do to make myself a better disc golf player and everything I do to get myself to Thailand and open my own disc golf course. This is the goal I'm working towards. Thailand is big and wide. There's uh, options for it for sure. And I have a yeah, I have a TikTok channel. I have uh, 11,000 followers on on that channel. Like uh, it's kind of slowed down the new followers stuff, but I don't think it really matters right now. But it shows the potential Thailand has for this golf just need to do it in in the way I'm thinking of doing it I think and yeah we'll see how future will go and I just finished my morning practice you can see the basket right behind me and putting practice of course in the morning and I will say the the confidence is kind of back, but for some reason, now I feel the nerves when I'm putting. Like, um, when I started doing my 100 putts practice, which is uh, 100 putts from same location, and just uh, I videotape it, it's uh, going to be part of the video series of uh, my road of becoming good at putting where I'm experimenting on myself like how many practice days and what you need to practice how long you need to practice how many days how many putts you need to do to get good at putting so uh, this is basically the last vlog which I'm going to do here in Thailand the next vlog episode is going to be of me traveling back to Estonia which is going to be a three-day trip well now when I say it out loud it's kind of annoying so I will be leaving from Bangkok then I'm going to go to China from China I go to UK and from UK I go to Finland and from Finland I go to Estonia so it's a long trip Sadly, I had to choose that option. Now, when I think about all the troubles, maybe it would be easier to spend the extra 100 or 200 euros and just take the direct flight. But I will try to take this as an adventure and vlog as much as I can on the road without bothering anybody. And I think today is the day I need to go get the hair cut and trim the beard maybe because I've been thinking like making it really long but I see there's nothing growing here so it kind of leaves kind of weird gap so I think it doesn't look so bad I kind of enjoy it I don't know why in the same time I'm thinking now when I'm going back to Stone it's going to be cold and so I'm kind of thinking should I shave it or not anyway back to my putting practice I think the 100 putts it went well I think it was a little bit better than yesterday even though I had camera nerves for some reason I felt it and finding the consistency on doing the same movement it's uh, kind of difficult then after that I did the early game of course it went in the end, it was bad. The first half was uh, kind of average, good, good average, something above average, let's say. And but the second part was really bad. So I spent most of my time on six meters and eight meters because the consistency. I start feeling the nerves. The confidence is, I, I would say, it's back. But the nerves. I don't know why I'm being nervous. And because. I kind of feel the pressure because I have this is practice day number 101 
and in my mind I was hoping by the day of uh, 100 I'm going to be at a certain level I'm not so it takes so much more time but in the same time it's a good good uh, way to demonstrate that with hard work you have to keep on going and going and going that I know that eventually I will get there but right now I don't think it's going to take as many as little days I was thinking of uh, like with the Yuli game I was thinking like to consider myself a good at putting with the Yuli game you need to get at consistently at least 700 points I think then you can consider yourself good I'm not even close to that I'm struggling right now to get over 400 because of the today because of the nerves which makes no sense and yeah so today is the Sunday I'm going to do is the day when I manage all of my video clips what I'm going to upload those little little clips YouTube shorts Instagram not so much but uh, TikTok I'm going to schedule the next week which I always need because uh, most of the next week I'm probably traveling and yeah it's an interesting time and I think in the evening I'm going to do another practice round yesterday was kind of a so-and-so kind of thing it was there but it wasn't there, there enough and I just have to yeah I, I need to find my consistency I, I know I have technique enough so that I should play BG Ray rating should be 950 around that area well let's 950 maybe too much maybe 930 to 950 it should be in that area but I still don't have the consistency the consistency needs to come right now the main problem I'm having is putting I am doing two practices per day um, putting in the morning playing time in the evening where in the playing time on um, concentrating on drawing mostly of course putting as well but I think putting is my biggest enemy right now because everything outside seven meters is crap I think that's the best way to describe it and yeah anyway if you haven't checked out my previous episodes go check them out and also one thing I've been thinking if there's anybody out there and you feel like you want to film like you like this golf but you don't really have the level or you want to play in high high places but uh, you're interested in uh, filming as well so maybe contact me let's start filming together whatever point you are in in the world you film I edit upload to my channel and we can grow the channel together and maybe hopefully in the future when I start making money I will give uh, anybody who is going to help me part of the revenue of course because I think it's fair and let's make a huge community out of this uh, Discord channel I think that will be amazing and yeah so if you know anybody directed to me and I'm going to have a chat with them let's grow the channel make it uh, really awesome for everybody around the world and show them that even like uh, those little C tiers B tiers they can be really awesome and yeah let's let's make it happen okay so this is my last putting practice probably this year in in Thailand so of course I'm going to take you with me so I just finished my 100 putts exercise and I think it's the best for a really long time I have to check the statistics 
I'm going to say it in my road to becoming good at putting. So go and you have to check that out. But now I'm going to do the Yuli game. And why it was today a little bit better? Because I went back to my old style, which it was is not. I was doing like this kind of a frog jump and a putt didn't really work out for me, it seems so. So I went back to my old old style where I was using this leg for aiming and just keep the disc on the leg. It's so much easier for me and I don't know, it just works better. So you the game, 10 meters out and let's see. Oh, complete miss. You see, it's so much easier for some reason right now. Probably because of the confidence. Oh, that was not a swivel. That's the swivel problem I'm having. Oh, that is going places. Yeah, so two. It's uh, yeah, the minimum what I want to get from 10 and 9 so I'm really so this is 7 this is where I've been practicing today oh replay mm. ah okay <laughs> So I cut three, which is also the minimum I want from this distance. Also I discovered I really don't like this. It's messing with my mind. And on this basket, it keeps on happening all the time. Also, I think I don't like the dust for some reason. So halfway. And it's not going, going good, but it's not also going really bad. So the consistency is still the problem. Like I feel like the movements are not the same all the time. And I feel like if I haven't wasted so many days trying to different things, maybe today I will be so much better because yeah. Everybody's different, you have to consider that. Oh, that was a speed out. Uh, yeah, everybody's different and you have to find your own lane. Oh shit, the swivel. Yeah, like I discover, I keep on discovering when, when I lock this knee, my hand movement is so much more straight at the basket. It's so much easier to release the disc correctly. I didn't type in the score. It was a three. And it's easier for some reason. It doesn't make any sense because I think I need to add, you know, this going forward. Not so much pushing with the left leg, but pushing with the left leg a little bit. I need to get that movement. But more straight probably. Like this, that was perfect. Yeah, like this. I like that. Oh, that 
was just too low. Ah, that was swivel again. Like that's the problem, like the consistency, it's not there. Why, why is not there? It was three again. But three from eight, three from eight meters is not so bad. Yeah, which is, I think here you probably need to clean your discs more often than I do. They feel so dusty, like there's like extra layer on the disc all the time. Maybe you should have experimented more with that than with different styles. But yeah, let's check in if when I have uh, yeah, two more rounds to go and let's talk about uh, what I'm going to do today. Two more rounds to go. And I am at 355 points, which is not that bad, but uh, yeah, I need 45 points and I'm going to be on eight meters. If I make everything, I will get 40 points. But do I want to make everything to get to 400? I'm not going to make everything anyway. The swivel is back. Oh. Oh, that was good. Oh my God. Okay, this is the point where I need to reset myself because I never do that. If I make the swivel reset and I'm not good at handling this pressure right now. Ah, I made one, okay. So sadly I won, so I'm not going to kick 400, but yeah, but I feel so much more co consistent right now. Oh, yeah, slipped away. Oh, that was bad, but went in. Yeah, this, this is what I want. Ah, what are you choking me? So, Really, really bad end. Like really, really bad end. 381 points. Screenshot. So it's not something I should be proud of. But in the same time, it is what it is. I can't really change it at least I made at least one putt from every station, every round, so I didn't finish visit five meter point. The most putts I had from seven meters, which really sucks because I was only 51%. This is, I think this is where I lost most of my points. And yeah, visit nine and 10 meter twice, both times. Every time I made two putts, so I was 40% from nine and 10, which is not that bad. For some reason, longer putts I have more confidence right now because if you miss, you miss. I don't really worry about it. I need to get that feeling from seven, eight meters as well because I worry. Why do I worry? It doesn't make any sense. Anyway. For this vlog, what's happening here? Uh, today is uh, Monday and is Samui random doubles. 
and I will bring my camera with me. I'm going to film as much as I can to give you some highlights. And it's going to be, like I said, most likely this year, the last game in Thailand, which makes me so sad right now saying it. But it is what it is and yeah, tomorrow is going to be more relaxed day. Spend some time with the people around me and pack because Wednesday morning, early morning, I'm going to be leaving. And yeah, see you in the afternoon. So, last hole. Last boom. hole. Boom. Thank you. Boom. Boom. Thank you. Boom. And when we're going to tee off, we're going to show you some highlights from our round before we check out who actually won the doubles today. Light. Perfect. Yeah, carry, 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 carry. Skip. We can punt. So good. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's a, like circle two. So this is where that weird shot landed. You want us? We'll get it. Hell yeah! That's the same putt with all of yesterday. Yeah. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Boom! Oh yeah, perfect. Very nice. Hit you. Oh, oh parky, 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Skip. Okay, oh, nice. Fine. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Like it. Oh, yeah, boy. You saw it. with the highlight part. Boom. Here we have Jonas driving with the momentum this slim and boing. Is that where you, your drive went to? Yeah, that was his drive. It's quite, it's a sweet. Legal? Yeah, it's legal. 
Momentum sure. disc. Back. Yeah. Come back. Come back. Come back. Yes. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Miss it. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, nicely done. Oh, yeah. Time for third splitting, 300, 300 baht. Uh, we got the 13 unders, Robin Toma and Carbo Jonas. Right. Big money. Splitting 500 baht is me and Enzo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And winning 900. And winning 900 is Ollie and Dale. That's all these all. These are the Dallas, Congratulations. Boom. Congratulations, man. Thanks, thank you very much. Lucky day.